Welcome to this model making tutorial. My name is Rice Maiden, and today we'll be showing you how to put together the Rice Maiden Models 1 64th scale Van Duel Glaive from Star Citizen. Now, like with the rest of my tutorials, I recommend that you not only have all the pieces in front of you before you get started, but also that you have a pretty wide open place, um, that you acquire a couple small to medium sized clamps, um, and you get a good quality general purpose uh, glue to use. Now you can use a specific wood glue if you want, um, but I caution that some wood glues have a pretty high or pretty quick dry time, uh, which doesn't give you a lot of opportunity to move parts around and let them set where you want. So pick a glue of your own discretion. Without further ado, let's begin. Um, so as you can see, the model here is it's it's different than a lot of the rest just because it's kind of spread out and especially when we start building it you'll see that there's a couple specific steps in how you build it so that you can kind of get it together without it collapsing in on itself um, specifically that these wing sections are I mean they're, they're, they're strong and you know they work for the model but it's something to where if you do it a little out of order it might get kind of tricky to assemble without an extra set of hands. So the first, so the way we're going to build this is we're going to build the center fuselage first um, and then we'll build the wings last. So let's get rid of the wings and this will be the target of our first set of steps. Um, and breaking that down more specifically, we're going to go for the center. So this will be the very first thing you want to put together. Now the first piece that you're going to acquire out of your uh, no doubt batch of parts is the center rib um, and to attach that we're gonna put the wherever it is this might take me a minute to to learn where all my parts are I have not looked at this model in probably a year or two uh, you know we're just gonna put it back so um, if I take away this stack up here uh, you can see that this fuselage just sticks straight into the back of your your cockpit um, and that's going to be our first attachment and you can glue those two guys together um, on the front of this I'm not going to mention this again but I'm going to touch on it as uh, something that you can do now you can do it later I'd probably recommend doing it later just because there's a chance that you might bump this and they'll, they'll come apart while you're putting it together. Um, there's uh, these two pieces here, and I'm going to try to give you a head-on view of the piece itself so you know exactly what one I'm referring to uh, when we put this together. But as you can see, the front guns are just um, made up of these support pieces glued to the little tiny size one guns and then attached to the... Uh, cockpit itself so if I can get all that back in as you can see they just kind of fit into the the groove in the cockpit and uh, pretty pretty straightforward so now at this point now that we have the uh, cockpit attached to your center rib um, we're gonna build uh, we're gonna build up this engine section here in the back and the way we're going to do that is, first off, let me get rid of these top pieces here and leave you with, uh, actually I'll get rid of the engines too, um, nah. and leave you with just this. So how this is going to work is, as you can see, there are these two, um, two loops here, and they're exactly the same. And what's going to happen is, is, as you just saw, you're going to build the motor up as a three-piece part. So what I, so how I recommend doing this is putting the loops into the hole, so you know, thread them through their respective holes in the center rib, and then kind of just let them float there for the time being and build the motor into it. So the way the motor builds up is uh, the end piece. So you're going to build it from the rear forward. So you're going to get these rear pieces here, um, and they're, they're big and, you know, they should not be hard to find. And you notice that they have a cup, a cup in one end, and that cup is going to mate to the mid piece. So if I get rid of this, 
you'll see that that cup has a receiving end in the middle portion of the motor. Um, and as you can see, something to keep in mind is the orientation of this motor. They're mirrors of each other, so um, this lower piece is going to have this cut in it, as well as kind of this intake on the outside going in this direction. And the same, and again, the opposite is going to be on the other side. And you're going to kind of want these to be in roughly this orientation. Now, uh, this rib right here should slip over top of this flat face on the center, um, kind of as a, a locating feature. Um, and the same goes for the rear, although I believe that locating feature is in the, nope, it's in the, okay. Yeah, so it is in the middle piece. So uh, that locating feature, so both of these two ribs are gonna locate on this middle section here. Um, and then obviously you saw the rear end of it, the nozzle, um, should be the same on both sides. There shouldn't be a, a unique side to it. Um, and that of course will fit into the, uh, I believe there's a small chamfer on the, the leading edge of the motor that kind of fits in here. So that should go together pretty easily. So now at that point, well, um, once you kind of have the motors glued to these guys or glued to these, these ribs, um, and that stack up made, uh, you're going to uh, glue the ribs down to the, the glue the engine ribs down to the center rib. Um, if I can get rid of these really quick, um, as you'll notice, uh, if I get rid of the motors again, um, you'll see that this rear rib sits on this little ledge here on the back, and the front rib sits on this little ledge right here. And you can put a dab of glue on that, um, set the motors, set the ribs with the motors on that, and let that dry. Um, something you can do while that's drying is attach these upper pieces. So um, towards the rear we have this kind of crazy looking piece here and that's going to, to, uh, to straddle these two notches in the upper ribs. Um, so as you can see that again, it just kind of sits there and leans against the center rib. Uh, and then there's a forward piece and it's another crazy looking piece. Um, and that's going to sit in that, that notch in the, the forward engine part, and it's just going to rest against the side of the fuselage. And uh, you can put some glue in that and let that dry, and that should be a pretty rock-solid assembly when that's, that's finished. The only other thing of importance is we have these kind of spacer pieces down here. Um, you can see the shape there. That should follow the contour of the center rib, just glue it in place, nothing special. Once all that's done and you're kind of happy with everything is on the back, um, we got this forward section. Now, uh, this guy right here is basically a stack up of six parts. And uh, all of them more or less fit into these grooves on the cockpit, the 3D printed cockpit itself. You can see that they're kind of cuts where the uh, uh, different layers go. Now, this isn't a precise science, you know, if, if they don't exactly line up, nobody's ever going to see it, but just keep in mind that that's kind of where stuff's supposed to live. So to do this stack up, um, I guess the best way to do this is for other than, so uh, let's see if I can, I can do this in a way that makes sense. Um, as you can see, the layers are made to be shifted slightly so that this piece, let's see if I can get a head on, so this piece kind of has a downward angle and you make that because obviously there's a, there's a little bit of a shift as it goes down. Um, something, something else to keep in mind is that for the most part, other than this bottom piece, the outer side should have a slope to it as well and that's because this piece is not as long as this piece, which is not as long as that piece, etc., etc. So um, you can build this from the bottom up. You can build it from the top down. Um, you can obviously, you know, this piece is floating until you glue it to here and the cockpit. So you're welcome to, you know, if you have a slower drying glue like I typically use, uh, slap some glue between the pieces, kind of push it against this piece and push it against the motor, find that angle it wants to live at and let it 
and just kind of let it find itself, take it off, let it cure. That way you know it's not going to move and it's going to be at the angle that you want it to be. So um, now as you can see, the back side of all of these pieces are entirely flush. Keep that in mind when you are... This, this is a little bit of an outlier, but all of these back sides are flush. Keep that in mind when you're putting this together. So, so the top piece, um, I'm just going to go through this quickly. Uh, the top piece is this pretty generic shape. Um, again, you can lay them out on a table and see that this isn't as long as any of the other pieces, and these front nubbins aren't as long as well. Uh, once we go down one, uh, we're going to get, get into this crazy piece with a huge cutout in it. Uh, we're going to get into another piece with not same profile cutout, just not as big. Um, we're going to have this pretty big wide piece here. Um, and then this piece is of it, um, this piece underneath of it is shorter and it has a notch here. And then finally we get to the bottom piece which has this triangle notch, another notch, and the front section is not nearly as big. Everything on the other side is a mirror, so as you can see, it's just the, the reverse of the other or the mirror of the other pieces and it goes on the other side. So, once you have that stack up built, I'd recommend gluing it to this piece and gluing it to that. Um, you can do one side at a time if you want. Take one side, glue it to it, leave it on its side and let it dry. Glue the other side, leave it on its side, let it dry. Make sure it's just a rock solid piece before you continue. After we get done with this section, uh, we're going to move on to... Um, what are we going to move on to? That's a good question. Uh, nope. I don't remember exactly. Uh, give me a second to figure out what section I want us to move on to next. Um, let's actually do this next. So uh, on top of this, um, in actually, you know what? No, no, no. We're gonna do we're gonna do the wings next. So so as part of this piece, so the next portion of what we're going to do is how the wings attach and let's see this guy right here so I mean it, it looks like I added a lot but in reality I didn't so this is what we're going to add and there are a couple major important things going on here the first of which is this five piece stack up on the bottom um, there are a lot of pieces that look kind of like this um, we'll go through them in a second you have this kind of open piece here um, like that and then you have these two wing pieces so the first thing we'll do is we'll grab the wing pieces uh, you'll have this top wing piece and it's pretty identifiable with this crazy little cutout in it um, and then the bottom wing piece which has your uh, I, I don't know what they're called in game little fin thingies um, and we're gonna glue those together and those match up pretty well um, as you can see the leading edge here matches up as well as here uh, it kind of dives away but as you can see it, it more or less matches most of that profile um, and it's the same on both sides so just sandwich them together and set them on the desk and let them cure um, and then the next thing we're going to do is build this stack up going on over here and what's going on here is um, we're putting these five pieces together and it's going to create this angle with which this wing is going to sit in um, as you can see, there's a notch right here, um, and so when you get ready to mate these two pieces, you're just going to kind of put it up here and then slide it back into the notch and add some glue and everything should be fine. So taking a look at those, that stack up of pieces, um, you're going to start with this kind of small cut, small piece, um, I, I've run out of words to describe pieces with. Uh, you got this piece, which is a little bigger, and then you got this piece, which is much bigger, and then you got this piece, which is much bigger but has now this cutout on the top. Um, and then finally, you have this rear piece, which is really long and has your upper cutout for the wing itself. And when you get that stack up all done, um, you're going to throw on top of it this this piece right here. Um, now something to keep in mind is it's just gonna lay on top so you know it'll lay across these two pieces and across the front of this this long piece. Um, 
but it's not going to lay exactly flush with the back. It's actually going to protrude a little bit. Um, this is something you can probably do later on if you really feel like it. Um, it what's going to happen is this piece here is going to be what matches up with the uh, the main fuselage piece that we just built. So as you can see, it interacts with one of those ribs. So you may you may leave it to later to install. Um, I don't think it hurts to do it right now. So uh, once you have this stack up made, you can insert your wing piece like I just mentioned. Um, and again, both of these are mirrors of each other and should be just a side-by-side -side kind of thing. Um, so once you, now I would recommend letting these two pieces fully cure before you do anything else. Um, actually, it's, sorry, 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 I take that back. Um, do this step. So merge the two um, pieces together and then let the whole stack up cure before you do anything else. Um, that's because this is a pretty core component to the uh, strength of the entire model, especially with the wings, and so we want to make sure that everything settles and doesn't shift around on us. Um, so how these two parts mate together is you have this interaction back here um, where that little little notch interacts with one of the forward engine ribs, and then up here in the front um, you can kind of see this series of cutouts here as well as this face and this cutout, and that interacts with what we just built uh, I take that back, that cutout doesn't interact with anything we just built, but the cutout up here, as you can see, does interact with what we just built. So you should be able to push that together, and something to keep in mind is that uh, these two, this whole assembly is is pretty, pretty level and vertical in the grand scheme of the model. Um, so you should be able to look at that and kind of make a decision on where you want the wings. Um, a good indicator of this is that uh, the wing angle itself, uh, as you can see, the the wings, if you were to look at this straight on, the wings kind of intersect with this upper profile of the, the cockpit. So if this is lower or higher, um, that gives you kind of a visual indication of where uh, where this wing is going to land um, because obviously if that angle is off here it's going to propagate through the entire wing and it's going to be noticeable um, to anyone looking at the model. So get that glued together. Uh, you can add glue here, you can add glue back there and let that dry. Uh, you can also add glue back here to strengthen its connection to this motor piece as well um, and let that dry because that's going to be a core component of the ship itself. Um, the next thing we can do is this upper component um, the way I would, so if I turn both of these off, we can take a look at exactly what we're building. We're building this kind of stack up um, of components and then finally capping it off with this end piece. So as you can see, it's this two layer stack up um, and then that cap on the end. So the way we're going to do this is um, the first thing we're going to do is, uh, let me turn the centerpiece back on. So the first thing we're gonna do is install this angled piece right here. Um, and it should be pretty easy to point out. Um, there might be some confusion between this piece and this piece. Um, just keep in mind that if you're comparing these two pieces side by side, uh, the cut on this end, as you can see, is larger than the smaller profile of the one down here. Um, this piece is also longer than this piece, so just keep that in mind when you're trying to figure out which one's which. Um, so you're gonna take those two pieces and glue them in place. Um, then what you're gonna do after that is you're going to uh, make the first row. So as you can see, this, this, this first row happens right here. Um, this forward piece is actually gonna sit on the piece that you just glued in place. Um, and it has this profile for you right here. And then the one behind it um, actually kind of rests against your center rib and also almost touches this guy right here. Throw some glue on that, let that guy dry. Um, and this will make your first kind of uh, first level of this upper sh shroud intake thing. Um, also note that it kind of, 
the angle kind of dives off on the back. It's not they're not parallel, hence why there's this V in the the uh, in the two mates. Um, next, what we're gonna do is do the upper piece. So again, you're gonna get uh, your other long triangular or long angled piece and just basically glue that perpendicular to this rear line um, on this guy right here. Uh, and that's gonna create the base for your upper uh, pieces. Note that these pieces are curved um, at their intersection as well as on the leading edge, so they should be easy to identify. Um, and you're going to... Uh, so at this point, well, I mean, it, so at this point you can do one of two things. Um, Probably be best to put the cap on at this point. So, oops, I uh, let go of too many things. So at this point, you have this cap that goes on the end. And let me turn on the wings as well. So what this cap does is it basically slots in here. So as you can see, if I remove this, it's basically leaning against this profile that we created earlier. Um, and... Uh, basically the rear of so this is the pro this is the profile and so it's going to go in here and rest and then this rear like leading edge is going to rest on top of the piece of wing that we previously installed so it should locate itself pretty well um, both in angle and in location um, and then as you can see it's butted up against the, the leading edge of the wing and then after that you can set on top of these two pieces here um, as you can see uh, you know, mirrors of each other. The front one kind of dips forward, as you can see that it kind of lightly follows this angled contour here on the, the center rib. And then the one in the rear basically follows this diving off angle uh, back here. As you can see, probably be good to add a dab of glue there. Um, a little bit of a gap should be easy peasy. So that takes care of the upper portion of the center fuselage. Uh, now we're going to move on to the lower part. Uh, the lower part down here, as you can see me turning it on and off, um, let's, let's go here and see what we're going to build. So this lower portion should be pretty easy to take care of. Um, please note that these little nozzle things here are not really, they're not really attached to anything per se, so you can add those early on or you can add those after you're done building up the wood portion of this. Um, they just kind of glue to the center rib, uh, as you can see right here, and you know basically serve as kind of visual aesthetics, if you will. Um, getting rid of uh, getting rid of these, you can see how the wood stack up happens. You're basically going to have this first this first layer of wood here. So um, this uh, this piece and then the front and back connectors to the uh, center fuselage and then you're going to on top of that put this piece uh, kind of slightly angle up this piece and then have this connector that goes to the center fuselage as well so if I turn back on everything we've done so far um, we're gonna start with these two pieces so you should be able to find um, so this piece I would probably recommend putting in first and what it's going to do is it's going to lean against uh, this cluster, this four stack up cluster that we built for the wings earlier um, and then it's going to sit in the notch that exists in this piece here so uh, I hope that's easy to see you're going to have this notch you can put it down and lay it into it and use it as kind of a locating feature then at that point, add uh, these crossover or these connections to the center rib, uh, one in the back. Uh, as you can see, they're relatively flat, so there shouldn't really be an angle on them. And then one in the front. And as you can see, it kind of matches this little notch jut out in the center rib uh, right here. And you're going to do that on both sides. Then, to top this thing off, um, we're going to build these last three pieces here. Uh, so the first one's going to be this smaller profile with this notch in it. Um, and then you're going to get this piece, uh, which should in theory be relatively unique. Um, it's going to sit at a bit of an angle. Um, and as you can see, it locates 
in this notch right here. So again, put it in the V there, put the forward section in the notch here. Uh, if I turn that back on, um, and it should locate itself and prop itself up to its the position it wants to be in. As you can see, this this whole assembly kind of makes a a departure, like an opening of a mouth down here for another intake or whatever whatever it's supposed to be on the ship itself. Um, and then finally, you'll cross the bridge with this piece right here. Do that on both sides, and that uh, should get you almost done with the center section of the ship. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is add the rear flare pieces. So up here on the top, um, we have these rear flare pieces right here. And this is made up of three components. Um, so you're going to have this piece right here, and it's going to fit in, and probably what you should do first is glue it into this the this piece we added earlier. And as you can see, it kind of it kind of sits in the hole that's made, but it's off kilter. Um, it's got less of an angle, and it's going to attach to uh, uh, this piece right here. So this pretty unique piece uh, glues there and kind of glues against the edge of this uh, this ladder piece, if you will, which was our connection for the wing to the rear motor rib. Um, and so as you can see, this should make a nice... Uh, take your time with this. I mean, it's, it's not well supported, so a tacky glue is probably best to keep this in place while you uh, glue it. And then finally, you're going to add this this flare piece um, uh, that's 3D printed. Um, just as a note, in case I, I probably didn't mention this, but all the yellow pieces are 3D printed. All the white pieces are made out of wood. Um, take your time with this piece again. Uh, it's not really supported here, so glue it to the end of this wooden piece. Let it do let it do its curve thing, and then put a dab of glue back here and glue it to the end of this kind of fascia that you added, however long ago you did. Um, let that all dry, and then finally we will add the final pieces. If we flip it over, uh, we can add the uh, printed intakes. So um, if you're looking at this guy head on, um, these these pieces should be notched. Uh, and fit into the wood, uh, the wood here, so they should be pretty easy to install. Same goes for the other side. Um, if you are looking at this head-on, uh, this little intakey thing goes on the right-hand side, and this big round, who knows what it is, thing goes on the left side. And finally, to cap it off, you have these uh, little, probably armor pieces. Um, they're notched to fit in uh, their holes right here. Um, it's a little graphical defect. Don't worry about that. Um, so as you can see, they're they have like they make a 90 to fit the profile of the wood right here. Um, they should be pretty straightforward. Just make sure that the you know if you're looking at the profile at the back, this smaller section is towards the outside. This larger section is towards the bottom inside. And that should make up the entirety of the center section. I would recommend, again, letting this whole thing dry, letting it be a strong piece and having all the parts wherever you want them before you move on to the next section. The final bit is going to be the wings. Now, we're going to add these wings to this guy and hopefully... Uh, everything will go well. Um, I'm going to get rid of the center and just have the wings here for now um, and see if we can't build this guy up properly. So the first thing we're going to do is build the, the wings themselves. Um, and to do this, uh, we're going to start with these two pieces right here. So they should be the biggest wing pieces. The rear has the little little finny things, and the forward has uh, two of the support shape profiles um, with the kind of lance looking things in the front. And th that's going to make the base of our, our wing setup. 
so first what we're going to do is we're going to glue them together. And to do so, have these two pieces here setting on the counter, and then you're going to get the piece that goes on top of it. And you're just going to glue that guy up uh, on top. And to do so, um, as you notice, uh, it follows the rear profile of the piece that you just glued to. So this, this kind of hard edge here should all line up. It lines up with the back of the fins and then has some space and kind of lightly follows this profile here. Um, in the front, these two leading edges also meet up, so it shouldn't be too hard to, to pop that on top and glue it together. Next, what we'll do when we're done with this is we're going to flip it over. Uh, when we do that, we have three a stack up of three parts to make kind of the bulk of the wing as well as the blade, if you will. If you want the blades sticking out on the model, well, this piece is the blade. You could just glue it further forward if you want. Um, but uh, so the first thing we're going to do is get this piece right here. And as you can see, it kind of lightly follows that support um, structure that I pointed out on the bottom piece. Um, and so it should be relatively easy to glue in place. It follows this kind of inner profile um, as well as, again, part of that profile, that support profile. Um, once we're done with that guy, uh, we are going to uh, not do that one. Um, we got a piece that goes on top of it. So uh, it kind of follows the same profile. Its front and inner edges uh, kind of line up. Um, you can see here on the front they're lined up and towards the rear they're lined up. Um, and then on the rear they are lined up. But it's going to have this tail. The tail floats in space. Um, so don't worry about gluing that down to anything. And then obviously it makes kind of this angled line as, it, as it's uh, installed. The final piece is the blade. Uh, as you can note, the blade doesn't really, I mean, the blade doesn't really line up with anything. Um, this is the way it is on the normal model. Um, don't feel bad if it's not perfect. Um, the best I can say is that uh, I can kind of give you an insight, an idea of just visually looking at it. The blade sticks in a little bit. Um, it's also forward of the front end of the wing by a little bit as well, as you can see here. Um, the blade is pro parallel with this surface, so it doesn't really deviate left or right. Um, and then obviously, you know, this tail comes off, follows the other little tail underneath of it, but just mostly sits out in space. Once you have that entire threshold, uh, that stack up built up, make sure you have both sides. Uh, the next part we're going to do is add the 3D printed uh, supports. So the 3D printed gun here comes in three pieces. Uh, the first of which is the base, which I accidentally just got rid of. Um, so uh, the first thing you're going to do is add this guy. And actually, actually no, what I'll say is uh, build up this stack up. So you have three pieces. You have this lower piece, you have this upper piece, and then you have this kind of intermediate piece. Let's start with these two pieces first. As you can see, this lower piece has a chamfered edge and a receptacle for the upper gun um, right here. So if I get rid of that, it's got a mating edge. Uh, you can just put some glue in there and stick the two together. Um, as you can see, these kind of these profiles here line up, um, and that is where the uh, that wherever it went. Um, that's where this piece right here, um, as you can see, it's got a kind of a leading profile uh, that sticks into the hole on the upper part of the gun, um, and then you just add some glue down here to glue it all together. Once this assembly is glued together, you can attach it to the wing for support. Um, I would recommend doing so before it dries because uh, the wing is just a stronger piece than this just kind of sitting out in space. Um, as you can see, the wing, the wing supports go into the uh, gun themselves. As you can see, there are two receptacles here and here. Keep that in mind. Uh, just 
as you as you're looking at this, make sure you get the guns on the right side. Um, the wings should kind of dive down, um, and the, the 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 gun components should be relatively flat with each other. Um, let me turn that back on. So. So when you're done, you should have this, these two profiles basically done. Uh, you have your wing made up, you have your wing attached to your gun, your gun is uh, glued together. Um, note that the rear of the gun has this profile, which we'll use here in a second, and it more or less follows the profile of the wing. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to our ship. Um, as you can see, that cutout uh, that we were looking at right here um, meets up with the profile of the rear of the gun um, that we were just looking at. And that should just slide right in. Um, some things to make this uh, assembly stronger. The wing portion right here that's attached to the center fuselage uh, butts up against this wing support right here. Uh, you can add some glue there to make this connection stronger. Um, yeah, that's all I'll say on that. Add glue there, make it stronger. Um, while this is gluing, make sure you take a look at this and make sure that the rotation of this piece is uh, on point. Um, so just make sure the guns are pointing straight ahead. They're not, you know, wonky out at an angle or tilted in. Um, that they're they're perpendicular or sorry, parallel to each other. The final parts that we're going to add to this model are just some flare armor pieces. So um, what we have here is, oh, um, well, actually, uh, I really hope that you watch this entire thing before uh, doing this. So um, there's this armor piece right here, um, and it has to go on the edge of the wing. Um, I'll probably... I'll probably point that out um, at the beginning if I remember. Uh, so we have these two armor pieces. These two armor pieces need to be glued in before you do anything else um, once you're done with the center section. As you can see, they're they're unique in their shape. Um, you know, you can see how they go on. Um, and they're cutouts to basically fit the, the profile of these two wing stack ups here. Um, you need to do this early so that uh, you can get the wing on without trapping this piece in place. Okay, so you'll have that piece in place. The only thing you'll have to add is this outer piece here. And again, it's got a cutout in it um, made to fit the profile of the two pieces of wing that it's basically clamping against. Um, note that it has a little bit of a gap on the back. Um, and yeah, so uh, there's a piece, so there's on the top of the ship, there's this kind of power cable thing. Um, it is kind of funky in shape, but it should be able to mate straight up to kind of, you know, it, it goes right here. I, I don't know how to better explain it. Um, and that just glues into place, and it should it should fit where it is. Um, and if you want, when you're attaching these this this armor piece here, um, you can you could attach this piece then if you really wanted, because um, they mate together. It might be good as like a an aid so that you know kind of where it's gonna go. Um, and then finally, we're gonna flip this guy over, and we have this kind of the same assembly on the bottom, except this time it's broken into two pieces. So in the front, you're going to have this little tiny, uh, this little tiny front piece, and in the rear, you're going to have this kind of partial assembly, and it just glues down to the base and then glues down at this point. And at that point, your model shall be done. Um, let the whole thing dry, and uh, I will. I have a. I have a. So. I have a stand done that you can 3D print, and I'll probably throw the plans to that up on my website. Um, and I know there was somebody else that made a nicer stand for the one that they built, um, and I'll try to find uh, the the info for that and link it in the description if I can find it. Otherwise, uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. 
Hopefully your model building goes well, and uh, I will see you in the next video.